Hey beautiful people, this is your girl T. Welcome to T's World of Adult Coloring. Today, I will be doing my completed coloring pages from October, November, and December. Um, I actually decided to do mine quarterly um, just because I work full time and I have a lot of responsibilities and I don't have a lot of time to do videos every month. So this is a way that I can cut it back and not feel so overwhelmed or um, feeling like I'm missing doing things. So this is January the 10th. No, yeah, today's January the 10th. So I will be recording this January 10th and you may not see this until maybe the 11th or 12th. But anyways, um, I want to welcome all the new subscribers and I want to say hey to you guys who've been with me for a minute. Thank you so much. Um, so again, this is what I've completed um, October through December and I don't have that big of a stack, I don't think, but you guys might say, yeah, you did a lot. Um, one thing that I did, guys, was I completed the Ink House. And when I started um, really focusing on this book was um, late November, early December. Um, and I probably did more than two thirds of this book. Um, I won't do, show you guys all of the pages because I've already done a completed book video and I will link that. Um, in the description or in one of these, um, you'll see it on the screen. You can click on it if you're interested in seeing it. But I had a lot of fun with this book um, and you guys are more than welcome to go check that out. Um, so I did a lot of pages in here during that, um, during that quarter, the last quarter of the year. And that's The Ink House by Rory Dobner. I also worked in The World of Fairies coloring book by Sarah Burrier and I colored one in here I love the way this turned out let me zoom in oh in no not out <laughs> um I love how she turned out um this is again ugh, I was so nervous about skin but I I really try to take my time to do this and I love the way her wings turned out you guys I'm not going to be able to tell you I don't remember if what I used um as far as colored pencils and stuff unless I wrote it on the back in this case I did not I do know that I did use um markers as a base um but yes I think she turned out really pretty all right and that is world of fairies All right, then I have a picture in Fairies 2. Sorry, y'all, my Zoom is acting crazy. All right, and that's by Christine Caron. And this was a buddy color, I wanna say with Penny. I wanna say this is a buddy color with Penny. I'm not really sure. It is on Instagram. But this one, I loved, I said, I gotta do it because it's fall. I have to do this like really fallish and I love how she turned out. I love this image um, so much. This is the Maple Tree Fairy in Fairies 2. All right. Next, I did an image in Autumn Inspirations by George Tufexis. I think on this one, guys, I used um, Bic the big, um, I want to say markets, but I'm not sure. They're just, they're big, <laughs> not that big markers. <laughs> um, I, you know, I don't really follow, I, I try to follow the colors that they say, but if I can't find a color in the set I'm using, I just choose one that I think would go best with the image. And so this is how mine turned out. I'm really pleased with it. Um, it's very, very nice. I love George Tufex's color by numbers. They are amazing. All right, next, I colored in Autumn Scenes by Teresa Goodrich, and I did one in here. This one I did for Halloween. I don't usually do Halloween images, but I was like, you know what, I can do this one. It's really cool. I love how my sky turned out. That was really, really nice, uh, the way my sky turned out. Um, I used watercolors on the sky. And let me see, I may have written down Oh yeah, okay. This one I use Cali Art markers, um, Caran d'Ache Swiss color, 
and Pretty Excellent Watercolors. So the Pretty Excellent Watercolors I know is for the sky. So I love how that turned out. Very, very nice. All right. Next, I colored in Intricate Flowers by Jade Summer. And I did one image in here. Just trying this, this book out. Um, you know, I'm not, I don't really get a lot of Jade Summer books. Um, but this one, I, for some reason, I was seeing everybody's pictures and I was like, you know what? That's some nice coloring just to sit down and just go for it. Just grab some markers and just sit down and do it. So when you just have one of those days, you just want to color something and not focus too much. So that one was really, really fun. I like the way that turned out. I also did some images in this. Home Harvest, illustrated by Patrick Sullivan. Um, I think I did this one when I was doing a color and chat. So this one's finished. I used Cali Art markers, pretty excellent watercolors, and Crayola Color Escapes on this. And I like the way it turned out. Next, I did this page here. And Cali Art Markers Crayola Color Escapes Color It Glitter Gel Pens on this page. And you can see a little shimmer, not too much. Um, but yes, I love how this turned out. I like the color palette that I selected for that one. And last but not least, in this book, I did this page of scarves. And this one was really fun. Really, really fun to do. Um, and this one I used pretty excellent watercolors, Crayola the color escapes, and color it gel pens. Color it glitter gel pens. And the glitter is up in the um, the fray of the yarn here and down here. Very, very nice. Very nice book. Great paper. All right, the next book I colored in was Autumn Coloring Book, and this is by Color Questopia. And this one did a couple. Sorry, y'all. I did her. She's fancy. She's fancy. I did her. And I used markers, and then I went with gold gel pen. Gold, not gold. I did. I used. I think I used gold, orange, yellow, different gel pens, brown, um, to go with whatever section I was coloring. So not just one color gel pen, but try to match what the areas I was coloring in. Yeah, I used Parku markers and color it gel pens on that one. Okay. Then I also did this one. This was really fun. <clears throat> Did this one, I did the same the same way, except for this one I decided not to use different gel pen colors. I stuck with one, which was orange, to make it more fall-like. So you can see the glitter. I really like how that one turned out too. And then this one, I did use different color gel pens to match the areas I was shading in the lines. So. For her hair, I decided to use silver because I used black for her hair. So I really like the way this turned out. Very nice, very, very nice. These are so fun to do, guys. These books are so fun. All right, next, I colored in 50 Autumn Miniatures. And I did this, it was a buddy color with um, Debbie in my Facebook group. She picked this page, we did it together. This one. I used, I think I used um, Cali Art. I shaded it with colored pencils and then I used some gel pen to act, do accents and stuff. So cute. All right, next, I colored in Cute Monsters by Coloring Book Cafe. And I colored the dragon. And this was pretty fun and easy and quick. Um, so I did a little shading, not much. The background, I used some, um, glitter, glitter paint, not glitter paint, I'm sorry, glitter glue. Um, it's called Black Magic. And yeah, 
So that's my contribution to Halloween too. <laughs> that's about it, guys. But <laughs> that's cute monsters. <laughs> Coloring book cafe. All right, next, I was sent this book by uh, Rachel Mintz Group, and I did one page out of here. I have a flip through of this whole book if you're interested on my list of videos. So I did this beautiful page here. I love how it turned out. They were thrilled. Rachel Mintz Group was thrilled with, with this picture, and I think they posted it somewhere, but I really like how it turned out. People are a little intimidated with grayscale. At first, this was intimidating, but I had to sit down and just like plan out, you know, plan out how I was going to do it. As you can see, I did use marker and then I did some shading with pencil. So that was really fun. All right. Next, I colored in Miss Mrs. Zuki's Doodles Coloring Book. I did two in here. Another Halloween image. <laughs> I did this cute little guy, use glossy accents on his eyes. This is so fun and cute and simple. Um, I really love this book. I love these characters. And then I also colored this guy, also my Halloween contribution. <laughs> um, and again, I used the glossy accents on his eyes and I used glitter on his heart. Um, and I thought that was so cute. Of course he had to be pink. I love this book, so cute. All right, next, a page I'm not too thrilled with, so I know I'm not gonna ever use colored pencils in this book again, because I don't like the way it turned out. But I did, uh, I'm sorry, the name of it is called Color by Pixel Brain Games, and I did this page here with colored pencils. So I'm gonna probably just use, um, because they're double-sided, I'll probably use like Crayola Super Tips, um, but um, I did this guitar here. Um, I do not like the way that pencil turned out. It was, it's it's really smooth paper. Um, so there's no tooth on there. So definitely gonna try some water-based markers on this one. All right. Next, I worked in Chibi Girls Coloring Book by Color Questopia. Oh, sorry, y'all. And I did this cutie here. And I just used one silver gel pen um, in the white areas for the, the outline. She was really fun to color. So cute. Chibi Girls Coloring Book by Color Postopia. Next, I did one in Relax and Color. This is um, a Color by Number magazine. And I did this one here. This was really, really fun to color. Uh, let me see if I said what I used. I think I used alcohol markers. I think I did. And I love the way it turned out. Very pleased with this. These books are really fun. If you guys like Color by Number, you should check out your Walmarts and like CVS pharmacies and stuff because they have these magazines and they're so fun to color if you like Color by Number. All right, next I did Alice's Whimsical Journey in Wonderland. This was Happy Mail from Jamie from Jamie's Coloring Love. And I did two in, in this book. I did straight color, no shading, um, just markers and gel pen. I just feel like this, this the, line, the line art is so dainty that you really need bold colors. So I felt like I just wanted to do markers in this book. So I did that, and then I did this cute one. <laughs> this cute one with some um, gel pen accents and that. Thank you for this lovely color book, Jamie. Very, very nice. All right, next I did a page in Nightfall by Maria Trolle, or Troll, I don't know how to say her name. And I did this page here. Uh, let's see. I, ca I can't remember what I used on this page, y'all. I do apologize. <laughs> I want to say I based this, but I just don't know. I just don't know. I think I did. Yeah, I did. I used, because I could feel the warping. Yeah, I used, um, I'm more than likely, I used Aqua Rail um, crayons 
on that to base. But I really love the way she turned out. She's gorgeous. I love the colors in that one. All right, so that again was Nightfall by Maria Trolle. I also colored this image here in Love. This is a Rachel Mintz um, gray, uh, grayscale image um, from a PDF book that I bought. And I love the way he turned out. So cute. Oh, these books are so cute. <laughs> and this one, I use Lyra Aqua Color and Castle Art Color pencils. So, yes, very nice. All right, next I colored in, you guys, Poe Drugij Stroni Snoo. I hope that's how you say it. I did this image here. And I used, ooh, do not know. I think I colored another one in here. Did I? I kind of think I'm thinking I did too. I don't. I think I've already shown that one. I'm. I'm thinking, but um, this one, pink hair, of course. Um, background is done with. Um, I use soft pastels, or the uh, yeah, soft pastel, and I wet it. So I put the pastel on the page and I use a spritz bottle and just squirt it around to make this splotchy look. Um, and that was really fun. A little messy, but fun. As you guys can see, it's over here. <laughs> um, it's not coming off on my finger, but it's getting on this side. So I will more than likely move this whole color, um, the background the same way, do it over here as well, since I've already gotten some of that green there. All right, so again, that is Podre, well, you guys know, Carolina Kubikowska. <laughs> yeah, I think I did. I don't know if I showed this one. I'm thinking I did, did not, but I'll show you guys anyway. I think I did complete this the same, but anyways, yeah, did the same soft pastel background and nice coloring. I love the paper. It's so nice to work on. All right, next I colored in Linda Ravenscroft Fairy and Fantasy. This is book number three. I use Castle Art Markers and I use Mod Podge, the Glitter Mod Podge for the wings. And I did do some shading with colored pencils. I wanna say Faber-Castell, but I love how she turned out. Her wings are so sparkly, woo, love it. I really love this image. And again, that was Linda Ravenscroft. Uh, Linda Ravenscroft's Fairy and Fantasy Art Coloring Book 3. All right, I also colored in Mystery Color Animal Fun. I did two in here. And these are with Crayola Super Tips, I believe. I did this horse. And then I did the parrot. Those were fun, always fun. Next, I colored in the room Reese um, by Maria Trolle. I did one in here, which was this simple page. I really like the way this turned out. Really, really nice. I used, um, gee. I'm sorry, y'all, I can't remember, but I do know I use white gel pen <laughs> to outline the flowers. <laughs> That's all I can give you guys on that one. I'm so sorry. I gotta get better at writing them down. I, I was doing good at one point, but now it's like, ugh, just color and go. <laughs> all right, um, next is Midnight Masquerade by Hannah Carl Zahn. I just did the entry, um, the nameplate page, and I did, this was a buddy color with Selena. And I just used um, gel pens on this page. Just gel pens, a little shading on the bunnies, but mainly gel pens. And that was really fun. All right, so that is Midnight Masquerade. Next, I colored in Dogs Color by Number by Diego Pereira. And this one, I did the dog. I love how he turned out. 
I really like what I did for the background. I used the metallic watercolors in the background instead of pencil or, or marker. So that is my dog. What kind of dog it is, I don't know. I do not know. I'm going to see if... Yeah, they don't tell you what kind of dogs they are. But it's a dog. <laughs> and that's not one I can identify. <laughs> All right. Butterflies. <laughs> Color by Number by Jan Sovac. Um, I did butter, this butterfly page here. Again, using the same method for the background. Just using metallic watercolors. It's kind of splotchy. Um, but I do like the way it came out. All right. Next, I colored in Fantasy Landscapes by Color Questopia. This one are, already has a black background, so all you have to do is color in the image. And this is a dragon, purple dragon. Very, very nice. Very fun to color. Love it. All right, next, I did another color by number. Color my, by number Mandalas by Jade Summer. These are actually pretty fun. And let me see. I don't know what I used, but whatever it was, it was an alcohol marker or maybe a Sharpie. But I like the way that turned out. These are nice mandalas in this book, actually. Very nice mandalas. <clears throat> All right. Next, I colored in my Herbs Spazerkang by Rita Berman. And I did this pear page. Not too thrilled with my background. I tried to do something, it didn't work out. And I said, forget it. I was gonna paint it all black. I said, no, just go with it. Um, but I do like the way I colored the pear and the birds. So, you know, not every page that I color, at least, is gonna be, a, you know, something that I really like. But I'll, I'll still share them with you sometimes. It just depends on how bad it is. <laughs> All right, Manja Gates, Color My Dreams 2, adult coloring book. I colored her. I love how she turned out. Gorgeous. She is beautiful. Love it. I love what I did. Um, I did try to make this like fall color, so lots of fall colors there. The background, huh? not so good. But again, I'm not too good at backgrounds. One point I used to love doing them and I just stopped because they're intimidating. It's like all this white space, what do you do? I don't want to take the attention away from the image, so I tend not to go crazy with the backgrounds. So again, that's Manja Gates, Color My Dreams 2. We're almost done here, y'all. I did an image in Joanna's Christmas. I did this reindeer. I did, I use um, metallic, um, uh, metallic acrylic paint for the gold that you see back here. I use gel pens for the silver. I use um, aqua, aquarelle crayons for basing him. And what, I didn't say what pencils I used. I don't know what pencils I used, but this is pretty fun. I like how that turned out. All right. Next, we have 50 Wintertime Mandalas by Camellia Angelkova. I did one in here. This was also a buddy color. I think it was Color color Maze, Color Maze, I think, on Instagram. I think, I don't know if she posted it. I, I sent her mine. I finished before hers, and I told her she could post it when she was done, but I'm not sure if she posted that yet. But this is just the gingerbread picture, and it was really fun to color. I used... Um, I used some Cali Art, and I know I used um, uh, what pencils. I don't. I think I used Arteza pencils, and I used some glitter, glitter gel pens in that. All right. Next, we have Whimsical Darlings Holiday Edition by uh, Jana Prosperina. I did two in this book. I did this cutie. Um, the moon or whatever that is, the orb behind them, um, is in, um, silver. This was a page from my, uh, Zoom, well, not Zoom, we're, we're now we're doing, um, 
Google Meets, but we meet um, on Fridays and we choose a page to color together. This is a page we we chose, and the thing was we could not color the tree, the Christmas tree green. So I went with a white tree with red and yellow, um, red and green glitter bulbs. And the background I did in a midnight color and I splattered it with white acrylic paint. And I love how I turned out. Very cute. I used white um, gel pen to go around his fur on his hat and on his little pom-pom at the end of his hat. Very cute, very fun. And I also did this cutie, the angel. I kept her very simple. Um, I didn't want to do too much. I have the gold or bronze circle orb behind her and just faintly colored her dress in pink, her wings a little pink there. Love how she turned out. All right, and again, that is Whimsical Darlings Holidays Edition by Jana Prosperina. I also colored in the cute chibi Christmas coloring book. This one's by Chris Christopher Hart. I did this page here. So cute, so fun. I had to do like crazy hair, bright colors. That's just me. I just have to go. Something has to be pink. In most cases <laughs> um, I love how this turned out I used um, white gel pens down here markers um, and of course I think I use Arteza colored pencils to shade and this was really fun and I love how it turned out all right I also did the inky advent calendar by Joanna Basford so um, I used the same gel pens and markers on every image. That was a challenge for myself I made. So every single image, I'll bring it up, I won't zoom in, um, has the same exact colors, same exact gel pens. And that is how I decided to do it this year. And I love the way it turned out very fun this is my first time ever doing a Joanna Basford advent calendar so I'm really happy um, that I decided to do it this year okay and last but not least we have Christmas color by number by George Tufexis and I did two in here I did the drummer or if you want to call it, I think that's a nutcracker no yeah maybe I don't know <laughs> Um, that was really fun. And then I also did the snow globe. I did the snow globe. These were all fun to do. I had a blast coloring these pages. Um, I wish I could have done more in different books, but I had to finish that uh, um, Rory Dobner book, The Ink House. I really had to finish that because I set that as a goal and I try to keep my goals. Now I will be coloring on the rest of my Christmas coloring books between January and March. I will also be adding in some um, some Valentine's coloring in those um, months as well. So I hope I get to finish all my Christmas pages that I selected back in December and that you guys um, check that video out. All right, y'all. Until next time. Take care.